Have you ever noticed a bump at the back of your head and wondered what it is? Today, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the Inyan. The Inyan is the most pronounced protrusion of the occipital bone, a crucial component of our skull. Interestingly, the term Inyan is derived from Greek and is sometimes used synonymously with the occipital bone, although this isn't entirely accurate. The occipital bone forms a part of the cranium, the upper section of our skull. Resembling a trapezoid with curved ends, it's situated at the rear and lower regions of the cranium. This bone also features a scale-like structure known as the occipital squama. Now, the inion is located at what's called the external occipital protuberance. But remember, the inion is the highest point of this area and shouldn't be confused with the protuberance itself. Two significant structures attached to the inion, the ligamentum nuchae and the trapezius muscle. The ligamentum nuchae, also known as the nuchal ligament, is a robust fibrous cord in our neck. It's named after the median nuchal line, one of the four external curved lines of the occipital bone. On the other hand, the trapezius muscle extends to the spine's middle section, playing a pivotal role in moving our shoulder blades, head, and supporting our arms. The Inyan has some intriguing historical and cultural references. Sometimes, a larger-than-usual Inyan is termed an Anatolian bump, named after its supposed prevalence among the Anatolian people. However, there's no concrete evidence to back this claim. Interestingly, during the Nazi era in Germany, this protrusion was believed to indicate membership of the master races. Some Swedes also associate this bump with the descendants of Walloons, who migrated from Belgium in the 17th century. So, the next time you feel that bump at the back of your head, you'll know its rich history and significance. The human body is a marvel, with every part having its unique story. Stay curious and keep exploring.